What is up guys, this is Kimstar here, and I'll be showing you how to make three different particle sets for your intros. Um, as you see here, I already have three different scenes for each of them. Uh, so first, you can just go ahead and make sure you have everything for a default. Turn this up to 100, and turn the color depth into 16, and make compression 90. That's pretty much my render settings for uh, Blender Render. If you're rendering the cycles, you should probably switch back to Blender. So go ahead and um, make your background black, like so. And go ahead and press sh Shift A. And go ahead and go down to UV Sphere. Now go ahead and just scale it up a bit. Probably about there. Looks fine to me. Um, now you can go ahead and go to your modifiers and go ahead and subdivide this. Go ahead and make the view into a 2. Go ahead and just click apply. Then you want to go into displace. You know, may make it look weird ish. But go ahead and make this new. You're gonna go into here and you're gonna go ahead and make this clouds. You might say, what the heck is this? Um, just go ahead and turn down the size. Oop, I meant turn up the size. And that's about it. And then go ahead and go to your materials, make a new material, make this halo. Uh, I'm going to and make the particles blue, bluish, and make the size down to a 0.1, and add a hardness, turn it all the way up. Make sure this um, texture node, or option, is not checked or anything, or else you know, the outcome will not look good. So go ahead and make the... Go ahead and add a material to this, not this place, but go ahead and go to brush, Oop. and make this uh, disoriented noise. Size should be fine, so when you go ahead and press zero, it should have this weird looking thing. Now if you don't change the color if you go down here you can go ahead and change the color to uh, the color that you want in this case it's blue so it'll look like that that's one way to make your particles uh, this is probably my favorite way to make them for now so go ahead and go back to your solid and go ahead and go to your next scene so for this we're going to be using a plane. Uh, what you want to do is go ahead and scale it up to the size down here. Just go ahead and bring it up pretty, you know, below the camera where it can't see it. Yeah, that's fine. So what you want to do is go ahead and go into material, halo, uh, make the sizes all the way up. Uh, blue particles again, make the size point two and that's pretty much it for that go ahead and go into um, your particle system go ahead and go down to field weights and turn that all the way down go ahead and make the Z 2.5 I'll well, just make it go upwards and if we go ahead and play it oh yeah uh, that's too many particles go ahead and make this a negative 50 and 100 go ahead and make this about 100 ish lifetime forever Just make sure it's high then go ahead and go to halo trail count I use a six trail count for these as you go up they're pretty far uh, apart 
So go ahead and make this about point one or that point zero one. There you go. And they're closer apart. So when you go ahead and do this, they're much closer apart, and you get these particles. Now, if you're going, if they're going too fast in the air, you can just go ahead and make this a lot slower. Make it probably one. As you can see, they go, make it go much more slower. Let's go ahead and go on our rendered view here. Uh, ooh. Turn that down. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now, that's pretty much it for that. Um, I don't use this often, I just use it just because I want to. So let's go ahead and go into our final scene. And this time we'll be using a cube. Go ahead and scale it up where the right about there and go ahead and just add a halo make sure the hardness is all the way down to zero this time make the size about a one everything can stay the same but makes this a blue and this point two for this you want to go ahead and make this Depending on your focal length on your camera, you can just mess around with this, but you relative, relatively keep this a low number. So I'll leave it about a 15. A lifetime forever, start negative 10, end 0, Oop. 0, volume, random. Go ahead and make this keyed. And as you go in here, this is how you make the pretty big particles as so uh, I use this a lot actually I don't know it just looks really nice when it, for my intros um, so that's pretty much it for everything uh, for the other ones I could do another scene um, yeah. go ahead and add the camera this is probably the simplest one. Most of you might know it already. Where's the camera? There it is. Um, there we go. Uh, so go ahead and add your cube. And scale it up a lot. And... Go ahead and make this halo again. Make this a ooh. make this a point zero two. Hardness all the way up and blue because I just like the color blue. Go ahead and make this. This is um, probably the stationary one that a lot of people use. Some people use the moving ones. I don't tend to use it because it lags up my computer a lot. Zero, lifetime, forever, volume, random, keyed. That's what. Oh, let's space that. Whoa, nope. Let's space that out a bit more. It's probably the one a lot of people use. Particles all over the place. I mean, I do like it, but it just lags my computer. It takes quite a bit of time to render. So pretty much that's about it. You have this, probably my favorite one to use out of all of them. I don't know, it's like, if you have After Effects, it's probably trap code with you, you use the um, fractal field. And I can probably relate to it. I don't know, it doesn't look quite the same, but it's still pretty impressive for Blender, to be honest. And um that's about it for the tutorial so i hope you all enjoyed and maybe this will help you improve your intros a lot uh, i might be doing a mats tutorial and a camera shape tutorial if you all feel like it so i hope you